If you've been enjoying the recent autumn chill, brace yourself, summer is making a dramatic comeback. The United States is about to experience a major weather whiplash, shifting from record cold to a widespread heat wave. A massive pattern shift in the jet stream is building a dome of high pressure, trapping heat and sending temperatures soaring. Expect to swap your jackets for shorts as warm, humid air returns almost overnight. This isn't just a temperature swing, it's a fundamental shift in the weather pattern, setting the stage for active and potentially dangerous weather. The clash between lingering summer heat and encroaching fall will fuel severe thunderstorms in the days ahead. Summer is making a late season stand, pushing fall back for now. Let's break down what to expect where and when you'll need to be on alert. For millions across the country, the relentless heat will be the dominant story, shaping daily routines and conversations alike. As the sun blazes overhead, city streets shimmer, and people everywhere search for relief from the sweltering temperatures. As we head into the new week the calendar may say September but the weather is stuck in high summer mode. Early morning commutes offer little respite and the promise of cooler days seems just out of reach. A persistent strong southerly wind will continue to pull warm moist air from the Gulf of Mexico, funneling it deep into the Midwest and even further north. These winds act like a conveyor belt, delivering a steady stream of heat and humidity that blankets entire regions. Temperatures are set to soar 10 to 20 degrees above average with highs in the 80s and 90s, even in cities and towns that just last week were waking up to chilly, autumn-like mornings. The contrast is striking, and for many it feels like summer simply refuses to let go. This isn't just a brief warm-up. The heat dome, a stubborn ridge of high pressure, will linger for several days, trapping warmth and making it feel like we're experiencing a second summer. Day after day the sun beats down and the heat accumulates, making each afternoon feel hotter than the last. According to the Climate Prediction Center, above-average temperatures are forecast to persist nationwide through at least September 22. This means much of the country will continue to experience unseasonably warm weather, delaying the arrival of true autumn. While some may savor this unexpected extension of summer enjoying late-season barbecues or extra days at the pool, the intense heat will put added strain on power grids as air conditioners run overtime. Utilities are bracing for increased demand, and the risk of outages rises with every degree. The health risks are real, especially for vulnerable groups like the elderly, young children, and those with pre-existing conditions. Hospitals and clinics are preparing for a potential uptick in heat-related illnesses, urging everyone to stay hydrated and take precautions. The psychological whiplash is undeniable. Just as we start to embrace the cozy rituals of autumn, pulling out sweaters, sipping warm drinks, summer returns in full force, catching many off guard and leaving wardrobes in a state of confusion. Our climate's unpredictability is on full display, blurring the lines between seasons and making it harder than ever to know what to expect from one week to the next. So don't pack away your sweaters just yet. This is a temporary encore, summer's last bow, before autumn finally takes the stage. Keep both your shorts and your jackets handy because the weather is writing its own script this year. Stay alert and flexible as the pattern continues to evolve. With the atmosphere in flux, more surprises could be just around the corner. Where will the heat hit hardest? Let's break it down and see which regions are bracing for the most intense conditions. As this late summer heat wave sweeps across the country, it's not just about high temperatures. It's about how these extremes will impact daily life, agriculture, and even our health. Today, the heart of the country, northern Missouri and southeastern Iowa, could see highs near 100 degrees, exceptional for mid-September. These temperatures are not only rare for this time of year, but they also put extra stress on crops nearing harvest and on communities not accustomed to such late-season heat. Farmers and residents alike are urged to take precautions, as the risk of heat-related illness rises. By Sunday the heat shifts north, bringing 90s to the Dakotas and Minnesota, a dramatic reversal from recent chills. Just days ago these areas were experiencing cool, almost autumn-like weather. Now, residents will need to adjust quickly as the mercury climbs, and local officials are already preparing cooling centers and issuing advisories. Monday and Tuesday the Midwest and Ohio Valley will bake in the 80s and 90s, with cities like Chicago and Indianapolis feeling the full force. Urban areas are especially vulnerable, as concrete and asphalt trap heat, making nights uncomfortably warm and offering little relief. 
public health officials are reminding everyone to stay hydrated and check on neighbors, especially the elderly and those without air conditioning. Humidity will make it feel even hotter, and air conditioners will be working overtime. The combination of high heat and humidity can push the heat index well above actual temperatures, increasing the risk of heat exhaustion. Power grids may be strained as demand for cooling spikes, so energy providers are urging conservation where possible. The heat wave will persist through the week with above-average temperatures coast to coast. From the Great Plains to the East Coast, millions will be affected. This widespread event is unusual for September and meteorologists are watching closely to see if records will be broken in several states. This prolonged warmth is the headline but it's also fueling the risk for severe storms. The clash between hot, humid air and incoming cooler fronts can trigger powerful thunderstorms with the potential for damaging winds, hail, and even isolated tornadoes. The same dynamics driving the heat are priming the atmosphere for dangerous weather. As the week progresses, meteorologists will be monitoring shifting patterns, looking for signs of instability that could lead to sudden, severe outbreaks. Stay alert, summer's grip is tight, and the threat of storms is growing. Make sure you have multiple ways to receive weather alerts and have a plan in place in case severe weather strikes your area. Let's look at where severe weather could strike next and how you can stay prepared as this extraordinary heat wave continues to unfold. All this heat and moisture is loading the atmosphere with energy, just waiting for a spark. That spark comes from a potent storm system developing in the west, colliding with the unstable air mass. The result, a renewed threat for severe weather, including damaging winds, large hail, and even tornadoes. Today, two areas face a marginal risk, one from the Dakotas to New Mexico, another over the Midwest. Sunday, the threat expands, with the Storm Prediction Center considering an upgrade for parts of the Dakotas and Nebraska. Supercell thunderstorms could develop, bringing the most dangerous weather. The active pattern continues into next week with more disturbances swinging through the Great Lakes. The Northern Plains and Midwest will remain the focal points for storm activity. It's a volatile setup, be prepared for severe storms on a daily basis. The engine behind this severe weather? A powerful low-pressure system over Wyoming. This spinning vortex pulls warm, humid air north from the Gulf and cold, dry air south, creating a volatile boundary known as the dry line. That collision zone is notorious for explosive thunderstorm development. As the low moves east, the risk areas for severe weather shift with it. The system's rotation or wind shear can turn ordinary storms into supercells, raising the threat for large hail and tornadoes. The track and intensity of this low will determine where the most dangerous storms form. Meteorologists are tracking its every move to pinpoint the highest risks. Understanding this setup explains why the weather is changing so rapidly. It's a dynamic system demanding close attention. Timing is everything with severe weather. Sometimes, just a few minutes can make all the difference between safety and danger. In the northern and central plains, the weather can change rapidly, and being prepared ahead of time is crucial. Here's what to expect in the plains as we head into a weekend of heightened risk for severe storms and rapidly changing conditions. Today, from late afternoon into the early evening, powerful supercell storms could erupt anywhere from South Dakota to Central North Dakota. These storms are capable of producing very large hail, damaging straight-line winds and even tornadoes. The threat is real, and conditions are favorable for dangerous weather to develop quickly. By Sunday, a low-pressure system centers over South Dakota, further increasing the tornado threat across the region. The setup means storms could become even more intense and widespread, especially concerning our rain-wrapped storms, tornadoes hidden by heavy rain, making them nearly impossible to spot until they're dangerously close. In the Central Plains, Saturday brings scattered thunderstorms, some of which could be strong. Lightning, heavy downpours, and gusty winds are all possible, so outdoor plans should be reconsidered. By Sunday the risk zone expands and intensifies near Omaha, with the potential for severe storms to impact the city and surrounding areas. North of Kansas City, rotating storms are possible and the atmosphere will be extremely unstable. This means storms could intensify rapidly, producing large hail, damaging winds, and tornadoes with little warning. Strong wind shear and extreme instability combine to create a dangerous mix, conditions that can lead to sudden, violent storms. Everyone in these zones needs multiple reliable ways to get severe weather alerts. Don't rely on just one source. 
power outages and cell service disruptions are possible during storms. NOAA weather radios, smartphone apps and local news broadcasts are all essential tools. Make sure your devices are charged and your notifications are enabled. Know your safety plan and your safe place before storms hit. Review your emergency plan with your family and make sure everyone knows where to go if a warning is issued. Fast-moving rain-wrapped tornadoes mean little warning. Preparation is key. Don't wait for sirens. Act as soon as alerts are issued. Stay weather aware all weekend. Your safety depends on it. Stay alert, stay prepared, and take every warning seriously to protect yourself and your loved ones. The Midwest is already seeing storms, with clusters bringing wind and hail to Illinois and Wisconsin. The severe threat dips this afternoon, but returns as the main storm system shifts east in the coming days. By Monday and Tuesday, as the front collides with hot, humid air over the Ohio Valley and Great Lakes, expect another round of strong to severe storms. Cities like Chicago, Detroit, and Indianapolis should be ready for active weather early next week. Another disturbance could trigger more storms by next Friday keeping the region unsettled. The Midwest will be in flux, sunny and hot one moment stormy the next. Check your emergency kit, review your safety plan and have a reliable way to get warnings. Vigilance is your best defense in this volatile pattern. The risks are real. Just yesterday, a tornado touched down near Ray, North Dakota, caught on dramatic video. This wasn't a fluke, it was the result of the very pattern now spreading across the country. The right mix of moisture, instability, and wind shear produced a rotating supercell and a tornado. It's a clear warning, even a marginal risk can produce dangerous storms. The Ray Tornado is a wake-up call for everyone in the path of this system. Use it as motivation to check your weather radio, review your safety plan, and identify your safe space. Early season tornadoes show Mother Nature is already flexing her muscles. Be ready for what's next. While the main focus is on severe storms in the heartland, we can't ignore the tropics during peak hurricane season. The Gulf, Caribbean and Atlantic are quiet for now, no immediate threats to the US, but forecasters expect tropical activity to ramp up as we head into late September and October. Warm waters and decreasing wind shear mean conditions are ripe for storm development. One system in the central Atlantic could become a tropical storm, but it's expected to stay out to sea. The tropics are waking up, Enjoy the quiet but don't let your guard down. Now's the time to check hurricane kits and review evacuation plans along the coasts. We'll keep watching and bring updates as soon as anything changes.